I'm very, very pleased to be here at the Pilgrim Hospital in Boston, where uh, we're putting some money into the into the A and E. It's part of a, a, a national program that the uh, the NHS asked for. And I, I said, I want to stress, this is new money. This is this is new money. Uh, I said, I, I think, ten days ago on the steps of Downing Street, there would be upgrading uh, 20 hospitals, 20 new hospital upgrades around the country, and this is it. So we're starting here in Boston with uh, 21 million going into the, the A&E, and that really helps expand the, the space that they have uh, in the A&E. It gives them a uh, better chance of moving patients through, stopping them, uh, blocking beds and so on. Uh, and that's why it's so vital that we're putting another 1.8 billion of, of new money, 800 million of that going on various projects, a billion on capital, but that's on top of the 34 billion uh, that we're putting into the NHS. And of course, the lion's share of that will go on staffing, on attracting, retaining, uh, professionally developing the, the staff in the NHS. Don't forget that this is 1.8 billion of new money. It wasn't there 10 days ago. It's on top of the extra 34 billion pounds that we're putting into the NHS and I've said that my job is to make sure that we use the funds that go into the NHS to reduce the time you wait to see your GP, the time you wait uh, in A&E and that's why we're doing it today. But I would also stress that it is vital if we're going to fund our fantastic NHS in the long term that we also have a strong economy and that's what we're also working for.